Hey, coaches, want to install the Y corner into your air raid offense? Well, stick around, and I'll show you an easy way how to do it. Hey, coaches, Coach Ross here again, bringing you another video tonight. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Y corner and uh, how to install in the air raid offense or how we installed it. In fact, how we uh, put it into uh, our offense as well. Um, but before I get into the video, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. It helps out uh, grow the channel and um, gets the word out a little bit. Also, add a, give a like to this video if you like what you see. So, like I said, we get into the Y corner. Now, in our offense, we don't necessarily call it the Y corner. Uh, we just call it corner. And again, we call it, we stay in our formation, our base formations, doubles or trips. And in doubles, we can either have the Z run the corner or we run the H run the corner on the other side. Um, I'm just going to show you one side because, again, um, like most of our plays, the uh, the back side switches and the rules stay the same. If, it, if it's the back side or the concept side, it doesn't really matter. But the rules essentially stay the same. So I'm just going to show it to you out of Z corner. If you'd like to show me, if, you, if you'd like me to show it to you, both sides uh, leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that um, so here <clears throat> what we're doing first is quarterback coming to the line again we signify the running back with one word whether he's right or left it doesn't really matter for us uh, we can put him on the left and he can still run this little swing out to the outside from the left side doesn't matter but we just signify which side we want him to be on um, but quarterback's going to have a pre-snap read backside first uh, and again, like most of our plays, <clears throat> if there is open grass, if there is open grass right here, if that corner is off, uh, seven more yards, um, either one of these defenders, then the quarterback is throwing the three-step hitch. Now they are running three-step hitch routes or stick routes, basically the same thing, uh, no matter what. They're not, they're not having a choice between verticals or hitches. They're running the hitches uh, right off the bat. And if the quarterback can pre-snap it and he sees an opportunity to get some free yardage right off the bat, he has the uh, the freedom to throw that ball. And again, if both are off, then we tell the quarterback again, make the easiest throw, which would be the slot receiver first and then work your way from inside out. Okay. Um, if nothing is there and they're both covered up, quarterback then is going to come over here to the concept side and he's going to have two reads. He's going to have the corner read, then he's going to have the linebacker read. So first he's going to read the corner. Okay, when he gets that ball, when he gets that ball snapped, he's making his read to this corner. If this corner sits and he just is watching this short portion of the field right here, um, if that corner sits, then that tells the quarterback that he has the corner route to the outside behind the corner in this open grass. Okay. If that corner bails, if he sees that corner bail elite completely and back off, or if he sees that corner go, if he sees that corner bail towards the corner, he comes off the corner immediately, and he then he comes to the snag route, which we tell the outside receiver running the snag route. It's basically a combination of a slant and a and a uh, and a stick route. So he's taking one step and he's planting his outside foot and he's working into the space in between the linebackers. Now, typically what we expect is we expect this linebacker to be moving with the corner. Okay, so we expect um, this little open grass here to be open in between the linebackers. Now, again, also we expect this linebacker to vacate as well because he's going to be running with the linebacker, so therefore that should open up a little bit more space here as well. So, again, rehashing, if this – corner sits right here we are throwing the corner route behind him automatically if this cornerback bails then the quarterback's eyes immediately go here and watching this linebacker if this linebacker goes he can throw the snag if this linebacker sits right here then we are having the quarterback then immediately throw the uh the swing out to the running back out to the outside here in the flats so essentially he's got two reads he reads the corner, immediately what the corner does, if the corner bails, he comes off the corner immediately, then reads this linebacker right here. If that linebacker is vacated following that corner, then that snag should be open, okay? If, he, if that linebacker sits or this linebacker moves so he can technically see this, then 
he immediately throws a swing out here. Typically, this swing will be open every single time, especially early and often. And then what you might see is you might see this corner cheat. You might see this linebacker cheat. And if they start cheating, then we have the corner out to the outside and behind him. Um, and we can take advantage of those kind of passes all day. Um, a couple little rules that we have with the corner route especially. Um, we are having the inside foot. The inside foot of the slot receiver when he's running the corner route. The inside foot is forward, so the outside foot is back. And it's four steps, and he is planting on his four step. He's planting with his inside foot. And we have the rule, and it's like a rule like just some of the other coaches on YouTube that you hear, like, like Coach Lasker or Coach Mack, I think does the same thing as far as the rules. If we are outside the 50-yard line – I'm sorry, if we are outside the 20-yard line, excuse me. If we are outside the 20-yard line, um, when that receiver, when that slot receiver makes his plant, his aiming point will be the front pylon of the end zone. If he's outside the 20. Now, if we are inside the 20 and he's making that corner out, his, he's making that plant, and now his aiming point changes a bit. It changes to the back pylon of the end zone. So that's the rule we have him. Again, the inside foot is up. The outside foot is back. He's taking four steps. On that four step, he is planting, and then he's working to that aiming point. So, again, we're working grass here. We have the grass behind the corner, if that corner sits. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the grass in between the linebackers. Because again, we're expecting this linebacker to vacate with the corner, okay? We're expecting this linebacker to move with the swing, okay? But, again, that's a lot of ground to cover. But then with that, with that vacation or that vacating of, these, of the space here between these two linebackers, that opens up this grass right here for the snag where the receiver can just settle up right here in the open grass. But if not, all this open grass right here unless that corner sits. But if that corner sits, that corner, that, that corner route is wide open because there's no way a single high safety can get to that spot. And, again, this pass right here is not a 40, 45-yard pass. This is a 15 to 20, 25 at the most yard pass right here. Okay, four steps, and then he's angling his route. So it's not a 40-yard bomb. But, again, you know, if we hit this early and often right here, you will see adjustments by the corner. You will see adjustments by these linebackers to try and take that away because that's what they're going to be thinking first. And then that opens up the other options right here. So, again, we're reading cornerback, linebacker. So we're looking – Corner snag flat or corner corner snag swing, excuse me. Okay. But we also tell the quarterback if this swing is open right away, let's just hit it right away early and often. So that gets these defenders thinking a little bit. Okay. These defenders thinking. And again, also we have that pre snap on this side too. If the free yards are there, we're going to take the free yards every single time. So that is corner. We call it corner. Uh, typically, the air raid uh, terminology is Y corner. Uh, we we've just changed up our our labeling of our players a little bit, a little bit different. So that's how we run it. So we call it Z corner. If we if we call it the H corner, that tells the H that they're running the concept on this side. And that, we set, that's how we just single it out. Because again, this formation for the way that the receivers are set up in our doubles formation does not change. X and H are always on the left. Z and Y are always on the right. And we just and we just move the running back back and forth, even sometimes offset. So and we just have words that signify that. So we changed it up just a little bit, okay? So that is out of doubles. I will show you what it looks like out of trips. We'll just do trips. We'll just do trips left here, okay? Now in our trips formation, the Z receiver, since he is that middle receiver on either way, if we are in trips left or trips right, it doesn't matter. Um, the Z will always, always, always run the corner route. So the middle receiver will always run the corner route. The outside receiver is always going to run that snag. And the only thing that difference here that changes a little bit is now the inside receiver, which is usually H, which is actually, excuse me, which is always H, is going to run a flat route, okay, which essentially takes the place of the running back. The running back is going to run his swing, but he's going to run his swing to the opposite side and he will be the check down. So the rules go, again, same as doubles. Same as doubles. We're looking to this, this corner, this defender, pre-snap. Now we do, bring in, we do bring in the receiver on the backside on trips a little bit, so this does bring in these two play, uh, this play, this linebacker sometimes a little bit more into play. But even still, since he's brought in a little bit, that does open up 
uh, and make this a little bit of an easier throw. So we look pre-snap. Uh, it's not as far of a throw for the quarterback. Um, but again, it does bring in this linebacker into play a little bit more. But if we can take the free five yards and that corner's off, the quarterback has the freedom to throw that ball and gun it out there right away. Again, this backside receiver is only running a three-step hitch route. Okay, nothing more. You know, that's it. We don't have any other rules unless we tag something off of it. Uh, he's always running the three-step hitch. Now, on the concept side, again, like I said, Z is running that corner route. So, again, um, inside foot is up. Back, outside foot is back four steps. And then on that four step, they're planning with their inside foot and they're heading it again. Well, same rules apply um, outside the 20 yard line. The aiming point, once you make that, once you make your break, is front pylon of the end zone. Inside the 20, it's the back pylon of the end zone. So four steps and he's making his break and that's what his aiming point is. Okay, so essentially we are doing the same reads. Now they will, we typically, what we will see is they will move a linebacker over a cover and they will, they will shade the safety over. So that technically it appears like they're, they're covering uh, three with four, but typically that safety will just play center field, which is okay because we are in the corner uh, pass play. We are not necessarily attacking the middle field of the uh, middle of the field deep. Okay, we're attacking the outside and the middle short. So we don't necessarily typically worry about the safety, but even still, sometimes we might see this linebacker drop into a little bit of a, a rush on this side, or they might, you know, just stack him in by hand and try and cover with the safety, which is three on three, which we like those odds as well. So Reed still stays the same. Reed is still the same. Now we are reading corner first. Linebacker second, okay? Cornerback, then linebacker. So if that corner sits, we're throwing the corner route. Okay, we're throwing that corner. If that corner bails, quarterback immediately comes off the corner and is looking to this linebacker and this linebacker, okay? Again, more than likely this linebacker is going to chase the flat, but that is a hard play to get to, okay? So again, I'll get to that in a minute, but um, looking at these two linebackers and – the outside receiver is running his snag route, which is a one-step plant, and then he's settling up in the open space in between the linebackers. So he is looking for that open grass in between the linebackers. And, again, we are expecting this linebacker to chase the flat route because they're playing man. Typically we see the man defense. Um, and then this corner, this, this receiver will then settle up in that open space. This linebacker, again, we are expecting to chase the corner, corner route, so that vacates this open space right here. Um, again, just like in doubles, we will tell the quarterback that early and often this flat route should be open right away because, again, that is a lot of space and a lot of traffic for that linebacker to get through to get to this route. Because, again, essentially when we tell the, when we tell the receiver to run a flat route, he's not even taking one step. He's essentially just turning directly off the line and pretty, pretty much running parallel, even with the line of scrimmage, and he's just opening up his shoulders this way so that he can make a break and get the ball on his inside shoulder and make a break up the sideline. So it's a very quick pass, basically just almost like a uh, like a quick screen, the way he's opening up his shoulders. Uh, just he would open up the, uh, the opposite way. He would open up his shoulders uh, towards the, uh, the backfield. But again, that is a lot of space and a lot of traffic for that inside linebacker to try and uh, get to this flat route. So we'll, what we will do is we will tell the quarterback, hit this early and often. And then what you'll see is you'll see the adjustments happen. This corner will come down and kind of sit to try and take away this flat route. Or this linebacker will try and follow and they will try and cheat because they know that's coming or they think it's coming. And then what that does, is that opens up the corner route. And then that also opens up the snag right here as well if these one of these linebackers cheat so again if the quarterback hits this quite a bit early you'll see that corner cheat and then there that gives the quarterback his read for the next time we run this play he sees that corner sit he's taking his one step and he is throwing this ball out there because uh, since this is part of the quick game we are taking at most two steps at most two steps and we are getting the ball out um, with regards to the running back we a lot of times we like to have the running back on the same side as the uh, the trip side, but in in when we run this play, 
He's running his swing route to the opposite side. A lot of times what that will do is that will take this linebacker with him so it clears a little bit more space right here. But that is a check down. If the quarterback doesn't like anything he sees here, since we bring this receiver in, it typically brings this corner in as well. So then it opens up a lot of space down here. So we also tell the quarterback that this throw, this throw to the running back is very, very safe. Very, very safe. If he doesn't like what he sees here, immediately get it out to the running back out here because he's going to have plenty of space to work on this side. And typically our running back is one of our better athletes on the field. So again, we like our chances with all this open grass, possibly one defender, one defender, possibly two of the safety is a good enough athlete to get over there that fast before this running back's picking up major yardage. So we like, we like our chances there. So the quarterback, we like this play because the quarterback has a lot of options a lot of options, and he's only got an easy read, an easy real quick read that he can make in his two-step drop and, and then get the ball out. So, again, this is quick game. And um, this is the basically the last play out of our quick game package that we like to use. So, again, we, we use stick, we use uh, four verticals, and we use corner in our, uh, in our quick game. And it's pretty successful. So... This is your examples, again, of our, our corner play. We use it at essentially just two formations, and it's part of our base offense. So if you like what you see, coaches, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe because i got more videos coming, uh, and tell me what you think. Until then, coach, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching.